here you have a combust uh, a um, acoustic liner. See that? With the little holes in it. That's to dull the sound that you get from this uh, air rushing in there. And you also see the acoustic liner just outside the uh, blades on the perimeter. I know how that works. Those are just baffles that absorb the sound to make this engine quieter. You get this really nasty howl on takeoff when the pressure enters. Yeah. It, it minimizes that. These doors are called blow-in doors. Early versions of these engines, which this one is, it would actually suck these doors open. They're sprung closed. And when you advance the throttle and that fan really spools up, it's sucking so much air so fast. If you notice, the inlet diameter here is a lot smaller than at the fan. It's a divergent duct. So you get one stage of compression just from the airflow. And then it gets to those fan blades and, and they accelerate through. There's a speed, there's an air speed at which the um, air pressure in this duct equals the ambient air pressure. And on average, before these high bypass turbofans, that speed was right around 156 knots and it's called ram recovery speed. And once you reached 150 knots, uh, 156 knots, these doors would spring close. But under that speed, they augmented airflow through this fan just to help it along. Because this inlet is actually too small to get all the air in there that, that could go in. So this helped out. If you look at the AV-8B, which is the Marine's version of the Hawker Harrier, if you look on the inlets, the half ducts, they have blow-in doors. Look, look on Google. When you see one in hover, these doors are sucked in and they're wide open. But once they're in forward flight, they're, they're sealed shut.